Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's 2017 now, and last week it occurred to me that I still haven't finished Fallout New Vegas. I started playing New Vegas a few years ago and got about 30 or 40 hours into the game when my game stopped loading the save files. At that time I had installed so many mods that I ended up corrupting my character to the point to where none of my save files would load anymore. Trying to load any of the saves would just crashed at a desktop, so I ended up giving up on New Vegas and moving on to other games. Well, fast forward to last fall, when I started playing Fallout 4, and that game was an absolute obsession for me. I mean, I had more fun with that game than any game I can remember in years. Just loved it. So, long story short, I've played pretty much everything that Fallout 4 has to offer, including all the mod quests, Tales from the Commonwealth, and all those great quest mods. And uh, even after all that, I was still itching for more Fallout to play. So I decided that I'd, I'd go ahead and go back and start a, a new game of New Vegas. So this time around, I want to avoid the pitfalls from my last go-around in New Vegas. So this time I'm implementing a methodical or a surgical approach to modding the game, where I'm closely evaluating each and every mod and then I'm testing those mods for their performance. And only when I'm comfortable that the mod is stable and the game is stable, then I'll go ahead and use my saves on with the mod. So in this video series, I'm going to walk through the modding process, which mods that I'm using in this playthrough. I'll explain exactly why I'm using those mods, and I'll show you how to install them. So I hope that you'll join me for the upcoming series, and maybe you'll even decide to revisit New Vegas. Um, so in the next video, we're going to go ahead and walk through some of the programs that you need to start installing and using New Vegas mods in 2017. Specifically, we'll set up the New Vegas script extender, the New Vegas 4 gigabyte memory patch. We'll select and install an ENB lighting extension. And finally, we'll go ahead and install the Nexus mod manager along with the, uh, the memory patch as well. So the next few weeks are going to be fun, uh, so I hope that you'll join me. So we will see you next time when we start Episode 1.